Good for scripted. This is not like the hills. The hills turned out to be scripted. Did you know was, that? Yeah, it was definitely scripted. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, <laughs> so we were just at SHOT Show, then I did an auction, and then I was off grid, okay? I raised my social, everything, I'm off the grid. So we're gonna look at some of the new products that we got in. Some of them were at SHOT Show, some not. We're gonna shoot some of them, and ultimately, whatever. Yeah, okay. New products. People are texting me. Let's see who's texting me. Let's see. They're texting me memes. Huh? Okay. Let's run. All right. SD6. Okay. So Umarex is now doing a lot of work with SEMA. And this is one of the new products, which is the SD6. They usually made a competition version of this. This is not a competition version. It's a SEMA, which has a metal upper polymer lower. You got this really cool guard right here and a mock suppressor. Okay. Mock. And the mock suppressor twists comes off. There's another red tip underneath, just in case you like orange. Plus well, not red, it's orange. Then you spin it and it's back on. The cool thing about this, it also comes with this full stock as well as the retractable stock as well. So you can put both on and route the battery either to the front or the back. Just good like that. So that's already came out with Umarex. We are getting the Glock 42 that you guys saw too at SHOT Show. That's not in yet, unfortunately, but it's in. And then we didn't, no one saw this. This wasn't a SHOT Show because JAG was not at SHOT Show. This is the master key, okay? It costs the same as a real shotgun, but it fits under your airsoft rifle. It has its own gas tank right there. Real cool m -lock grip here. Comes with three shells. So if you ever wanted to kind of like, you know, you get bored one day and you're like, oh, I'm bored, you know, whatever, and Try to find a gun with a Picatinny rail. Here, we'll do it with this. We'll do it with the Lancer, make it look funny. And you're saying, I want a shotgun under my gun. You go, cool, well I got this Jag Arms one. There we go. Look at that, okay. Boom, okay, pop. It's actually supposed to go closer to the grip here, but you know, only have certain Picatinny rails. So we do have these, these are for sale, I think like $180, come with three shells. They're kind of a cool Gucci thing, you know, to have. And I forgot about this. They're also select fire between three and six BBs per, sh per shot. So that's really cool. Okay, moving on. And the next vlog we'll show them, but we, PTS makes really cool mags. So we obviously did a video on the PTS mags. Maybe we'll play the video now. Let's go play the video now of why PTS EPM mags are the coolest mags in the world. Crikey! This is Slex Wild here, and I just found the most elusive mags on the marketplace. These are the PTS EPMs. The OG, the regular EPM. This started off the PTS mag lineup. Well, sort of. There was a whole legal thing that made them change their design. But this was the second original one. Holds 150 BBs. It comes in multiple colors. Blue, like here. Red, orange, black, or tan. And has a rubberized butt pad so you can bounce this off multiple different things. Now, PTS said, we weren't content. We've made multiple colors like the Skittles. We need to jam more BBs into things. So they came out with the EPM-1s. These EPM-1s come in both black or tan, but one of the most controversial things is that these hold 250 BBs. So you might say, this is a high cap, mid cap. And just when you thought PTS was done experimenting with the fabrics of space and time, they decided we don't have a short boy mag. We need that, because everyone's asked for that. No one asked for that, but they made it anyway. And it holds 170 BBs in the small, compact package. These EPM 1S's come in both tan and black. So are the scientists at PTS the best at making airsoft mid-cap mags? Well, they're definitely the most diverse. Find out for yourself and buy them at miratactical.com. That's a lot of turning, okay? As the world turns, this is a soap opera. So these shorty mags are my favorite, 170 rounds. Um, they look really good in short guns, but we are getting the PTS Air P9 mags actually probably when this vlog drops. So if you guys want one of those, um, they're gonna go fast. I only have a limited amount. Go pick those up because PTS makes the coolest, most functional, most awesome looking mags in the world. All right, so you've looked at all this. This is something I'm gonna show that we haven't had in a while, but this isn't new. We'll shoot this one outside and the gas will die. If you guys get like gas blowbacks, this is a UMP 45 gas by uh, VFC. This thing is like extremely light. Like it's the lightest gas blowback that I've ever seen in my life. It shoots really, really fast. And the cool thing about this is it shoots single, two round burst or full auto, which I will demonstrate right now without beating. Ah. Where's my gas? 
There's my gas. Fill it up. This is blasphemous. It's a Vulcan gas with Lead Force product. All right. So take this, stick it in. Well, let's do single. It's got actually a really cool recoil. Okay, two round burst. It almost sounds like three round burst, then full auto. Let's do it with the stock closed. That's the thing. The two round burst is my favorite, though. It does sound kind of, kind of sound like you're... Make music with it. All right, let's go outside and see what else we got. So that's that's new, but not new. You know how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Justin Timberlake said how it goes. Round and round. What goes round? That was actually about Britney Spears, by the way. Anyway. T6s, they're on sale right now. So if you guys want anything KWA, fully on sale right now, go to our website, miratactical.com for all your KWA needs, because I got a lot of it, and I need to get rid of it. So buy it, it's good stuff. It's not like it's bad stuff. I only sell good stuff. Look at this, it's gold. Look at this, you need a special key for this. Can't show them where the key's at. Oh, they don't know. Okay, key, open. So the Chiapa came out, it's kind of a cool gun. It's CO2 powered, so. Open that up right there. So CO2 powered. This is 18 karat gold plated. Okay, so don't burn this down. It's not gonna be worth a million dollars. This one is limited edition. It shows fingerprints like crazy. So you gotta make sure that you're polished and or wear gloves. Okay, but it's cool. It's a double action uh, pistol. There we go. So, really cool. Ooh, gold. It's got a cool indicator in the back right here. So that shows you if it's ready to rock. And it is. Um, but we only have a limited amount. They only made 500 of these. They shoot about one joule, so they aren't gonna shoot hot for a CO2 gun. So you need to pick yours up now, because I only have a few left of these. So that is something new from Lancer Tactical, okay? G&G 556s, kind of like an Air P9, or not Air P9, like a T6. We've had these before. We have these in plastic, as well as metal. They have a little snaggle tooth at the end, so you can open your beer under, clean your teeth. Dense. The metal one's dense. The polymer one probably weighs like two pounds less. But um, really cool G and G. It's like an Air P9 except for a 5.56. Ooh, this is a ICS Captain. Okay, this wasn't a shot show, but it's an ICS Captain. ICS gearbox, split gearbox, short gun. There's electric blowback. Okay, ICS has a lot of fanboys. Um, they're built really well. They're kind of Gucci niche. Only people know the know. Um, these are really nice and a little bit expensive on the $400 range. However, look at this, flip up sight in the rail. They're just, they're for the person that wants an ICS, okay? ICS, like I said, the split gearbox is really cool. They shoot really, really good. They fit most mags, electric blowback. The electric blowback is just mounted to here, but really, really cool. All right, let's keep moving. We got a, we got a lot of new stuff, so we gotta keep moving. PCC 45, there you saw that. MCX has already saw that. TK 45s, all the KWAs already saw that. Okay, so we had the Mod 1 in, that's the curly banana mag, but we restocked recently the Mod 3, which is the stick mag, and the RK 47, which is like an AK banana mag. So we have these on sale right now, as long as all the other KWAs, because I like KWA and I want everyone to have a KWA at a good price. These are all metal, really cool. If you guys like CQB kind of environments, they all hold about 120 rounds, really, really cool. Um, and these are a little bit different than your traditional like M4 platform. So if you want something a little different, there you go. Obviously, oh, Lancer Tactical is Gen 1s, Gen 2s. Lancer Tactical, I'll just give you this little insight on Lancer Tactical. They do weird things, okay? Like this and this gun, the exact same thing. One's a Blackbird, one's a Nighthawk. What's the difference? Because the barrel length is exactly the same. The gun looks exactly the same. It's the rail. Why? I ask that question a lot with them. Why? It's the same gun, just different rail. But we did get Gen 3s back in stock, so we got Gen 3s back in stock, which add a cool programmable MOSFET that also includes binary mode. Let's go take a quick break, because I've been talking a whole hell of a lot, and we'll just do a montage of custom high kappas, because those aren't new, but they're cool looking. So we'll insert that. You didn't find me. Catch me if you can. Oh wait, that was the wrong way. 
whatever. We'll keep it in. Let's go look at some new other pistols and some rifles that we just got in. Um, well, restock of the shotguns, okay? It's indoor season, gas shotguns are hot. Jag arms, Gen 2s, they're good. They don't leak. Shotguns are cool. Gas ones are even better because you don't have that pull. It's just, you know, whatever. It's cool. Then G&G &G restock. These were big. The SR25s. People love these. And then for your World War II enthusiasts, ICS came out with an M1 Garand. This is real wood. Kind of nice to shoot. Again, for those enthusiasts that like World War II guns, this is something that is pretty cool. Battery in the stock, all wood, looks really accurate, really cool. You still have all the markings here, Springfield Armory right there. So if you purists out there, really cool. Again, niche gun, that's what LCT does. All right, next over here we have a Gat X, which is a like a Tech 9, that's what the wrapper is named after. Tech 9, yes, okay. You get a little optic mount way in the front here. This one has a full stock, which is kind of cool. Battery still goes in the front. Or does this one go in the back? Let's find out. There we go. No, it still goes in the front. Battery goes in the front grip. This one has a stock, which is really cool. You can get really close. Really awesome. So we have mags for that as well. All the MP5s. We still have a few of these limited edition ones, which are really, really cool. Um, still have a few of those. We have some more LCTs coming. We still have some RPKs. Uh, we have some RPKs here for Red Dawn coming up, but we also got this and this is the Arcturus, okay? So Arcturus has been coming out with some AKs. This one's really, really cool. It's got all the cool like SD front stuff. You have the optic rail right here. You can still put a side rail there. You get the real cool Picatinny kind of style stock. Let's see if I can, oh my gosh, that's, that's stiff. There we go, yeah, there we go. As you can tell, it's stiff, okay? I don't hear that often. Real cool. Um, you still have all the LCT Zenico stuff. Um, and then we do have some customs still. So we have a uh, 599 Raider 2.0 with a uh, Polestar Jack inside. Um, we got our UMP, which we just went over. And we have these two, the SMC9. So people have been waiting for the drums on those SMC9s. I don't know when they're gonna come. I don't know, just, I don't know, okay? Stop asking. Let's go look at some pistols real quick though. Pistols, pistols, pistols. Let's start here. Shadow 2, usually it was black with blue grips. This one is gray with black grips. This one looks really, really cool. Full metal frame. CO2 or green gas. This one comes with a CO2 mag stock. But if you guys want something a little heftier than a PO9, these are really, really cool. So we got those in. Um, what else? Let's go look down our treasure trove. Yeah, let's go look at the ICS pistols. Yes, baby got back, okay. So, we also have the ICS guns that came in. So this is the Black Leopard Eye, which is kind of like a um, Smith & Wesson 9, right there. We also got the Vulture. So the Vulture is kind of cool. Um, looks like, almost like a 1911, kind of short, kind of stubby. Look at all those cuts. She got chunk in the front, chunk in the back. Nice, small, compact pistol. And this one is the SAR-9. So I guess they uh, kind of copied that. Um, but this is VP-9 kind of style, really cool. These are all green gas, by the way. So cool little mag right there. Really, really cool. Cool takedown lever right there. Double trigger. Moving on, we have this one. This one doesn't have its front end on. This is the XMK. So the XMK is a small compact pistol with an extended, you can remove this a little bit. So this has an extended grip on it. So you can do shorter mags. It also has a front mock compensator that you can put on and they give you an extra barrel uh, for it as well. So you can extend the inner barrel into the mock compensator. So that's really cool. Nice little pistol. This has been the most popular pistol that we've gotten in from Now. The one that everyone is waiting for, the pre-upgraded high cap, but that is 100% Tokyo Marui base. This is the Challenger. And for the privilege of 209, it is pre-upgraded, so you have the Master Mods barrel in here, you have Master Mods hop-up set. So you have the Master Mods pre-upgraded stuff in here. You got a really cool slide with some serrations there and a um, Picatinny rail on the bottom. You have this really cool extended mag release, or uh, slide release, sorry. So when you rack it back, your slide release is actually right by your thumb, which is also right by the safety. So it's really cool, really nice ergonomic grip. One of the coolest mags, I think, base plates that I've ever seen. And it has an RMR plate already installed on the top um, and 100% Tokyo Marui compatible. So um, you're not gonna wanna up Create a lot of stuff on this, but you might want a short stroke, you might want to add a new blowback housing, um, but it already sort of is pre-upgraded. That's why it's at the 210 uh, piece, but full metal, full metal. The frame is metal, which you don't find a lot of places. So the only thing plastic on it is the grip 
right here. So everything's metal on this bad boy. I don't know why you'd want to upgrade this off this because you're gonna buy it because the slide already has the RMR cut. However, you can, you can rip this up. So now that you've seen some of these, let's go shoot some of them to see how awesome they just are. And then we'll wrap this thing up and maybe, you know what, we'll give, what are we gonna give away this time? We didn't give away. Oh, we'll give a patriotic hater away. Why not? So give me a patriotic hater. There's nothing more patriotic than airsoft guns, okay? Look at America. So Elite Force came out this patriotic hater, okay? Ten, nine extra magazines, so 10 discs. It's 100 BBs, okay? 10 times 10, okay? That's common math, okay? But in America, we don't like math, but whatever. So, but you can win this. And how are you gonna win this? Go back earlier in this video, okay? I might be doing something weird, okay? I But what we're gonna do is that we're going to, we'll place Captain America somewhere in the previous videos, okay? Because he, he would use this. And then, so what you're gonna do is find Captain America with the exact timestamp. Do not edit your comment. If you edit your comment, you're automatically disqualified. The first person to do that is going to win this awesome hater revolver shipped directly to your door. You have to be 18 because it's legal, but you want to win and do what I say. Now, let's go shoot some guns. Oh, there's a Van Vilsen vehicle there. Let's start right here. Let's get grippy grips. All right, let's look at this. This is a custom Rocket Labs full auto, okay? We removed the disconnector. Is an A10, because an A10 gives you full burnt. Airsoft Masterpiece Slide, extended magazine, gold match base. Take the safety off, let's see. It's cold out. All right, good efficiency. Cow cow grip, it's nice. It's grippy. Let's see what it did to the nip. All right, if you were a black plastic piece, you're gonna have a bad time. This is really cool. Full auto pistols are where it's at. Let's go try the next one out. And the master key. Why do you need this on this thing? Because it makes your gun look bigger than it actually is. Lock and load, baby. You come to the wall. You don't like this guy, you know what I'm saying? You already should. He's already done. Hands up, I'm dead. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> kind of powerful for how small it is. Let's back up a little bit. Ready? Ooh, that's some good recoil. Let's see again. Ooh, oh, crispy. And it's some explosive results. It blew a hole through his neck. What? <laughs> Let's remove this shell before I do any more damage. Okay. Water resistant. Fuck. Okay, this makes the girl jealous. Oh, it's coming. All right, shoot him. Kill him. Kill him. Where's he going? He's backing up. Because he doesn't want a piece of this. All right, set him up. We're gonna, we're gonna knock his whole torso out, okay? Because I don't like six packs, I like four packs. All right, we failed, but it's still a really cool gun. SD6, let's move on to the next one. Let's try a Kai Kappa. All right, <laughs> Challenger, okay? No optics, I don't need no optics, okay? I spray and pray. Let's see, ready? These have an upgraded master mod barrel set. They hit hard, I guess. <laughs> okay, ready? This is what the ladies like. One BB left. So actually very good gas efficiency with high pushing this to the limit as well as being cold outside. You also, look at this, because it is upgraded, please use 0.3 gram BBs. We did not use 0.3 gram BBs. We're rebels. All right, whoa, coming in hot. Let's take this torso out, okay? Does it actually work? Let's find out. These PTS mags are pretty thick. Fine, if you have an Arcturus gun, these PTS mags work really, really good. 
All right, look at this, look at this bad boy. Short, stubby, everything you want in life. Close, we were. We were close. I used to have horrible aim. Look at that. Look how look at this. Dude, ready to go. Okay. But these are real cool. These are Turris AKs. Really sturdy. You can kind of see. No wiggle. These PTS mags actually feed extremely well. But let's go back inside and continue the awesome vlog. So hopefully you guys loved those shooting videos. The ICS Challenger, some of the KW Ways, some of the other new stuff that we got in. And, uh, but what most people are waiting for, and what I have coming in and we have for pre-order right now is the AAP 01s. I'm ready, I have all the accessories ready, I'm just waiting for the guns. So if you wanna jump in and make sure that you get an AAP 01, make sure you go to our website right now and pre-order it. You're gonna get free two day shipping when they do come in, and all the accessories right now are 5% off. So you need to get the hottest pistol out there. I mean, you might like the other ones, but this is the hottest pistol out there right now. So you need to shop here at Mere Tactical because I'm ready for you to build your ultimate AAP. Thank you guys for walking through with us all the cool new things that we have in the store and the, some of the things we have coming into the store. Make sure that you go find Captain America so that you can win that patriotic hater. And we'll see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to Mere Tactical. And I did that out of order. So we're going to end it right there.